Alright, so this is definitely the evidence above me. Are we playing, like, seductive whale music? That was half me, half the fucking music. Okay, we're gonna get out of here. <laughs> Whales make silly sounds to me. Whoa, hello, that's a lot. Okay, I'll put the bug in the suitcase, but first, we're gonna open this. Ah, oh, gosh. Okay, so... My computer crashed. <laughs> when I opened up that little safe right there. So we're not gonna open up this time, but the evidence get... Did get saved onto my evidence thing. So let me just see if I can open that up. Case files. Uh, let's see... Because it crashed my computer and I don't want to risk opening that up again. That was... Really weird. Uh, file inside safe. Okay. Big Eddie. Who the hell is Big Eddie? A document from Roark's safe linking him to someone called Big Eddie. Whoever that is, Roark obviously wants to keep the details private. Well, maybe Big Eddie is... talks about... Dawes, right? I think I slightly remember something about him being named Edward Dawes? Although I don't actually fully remember. I, I'm bad with names. So was there... is that all of them? Okay, alright. I figured that maybe... Maybe my game crashed because it was trying to get, like, the conclusion. But apparently we still have one file left to get and it's not even close. <laughs> Next case unlocked in episode 8. We're not even on episode 8. Oh, alright, well fuck it. Let's look around the room real quick. Make sure there's nothing on standby. That's a nice shower, but... I would never take a shower in a place that is just like all glass windows. Fuck that. I mean, I guess you could close the doors. Alright, let's go ahead and do this. Is that Rark? That's a dumb looking painting. <laughs> no one will notice that at all. Obviously, you have no idea who I am, because oh. if you did, you would not be stealing from me. Maybe I don't scare that easy. Well, you look Mexican, so I'll assume you're a burglar, but I'm also assuming you're not the average burglar. There are a lot of vulnerable properties in this neighborhood, but you picked mine to rob. Why is that? I wonder. Hey, seemed like a challenge. <laughs> Well, let's up the challenge. I just pushed a button, which means about a dozen coked up psychopaths with automatic weapons are heading your way. You scared yet? Not really. Oh! Doesn't seem like it. Not from where I'm standing. <laughs> oh, no, this is very clever of you. A two man job, huh? <laughs> so to speak. Well, hats off to you. Really? You twits better take all the cash you can carry, and spend it fast. Buy gold. Buy a goddamn sailboat, because I'm not gonna stop coming for you. Oh, shut up! <laughs> hey there. Just thought I'd check in. Hey, turn off the alarm! Uh, that's not gonna work. You got bad guys coming at you. Oh god, they're shooting at me already! Not the aquarium and the whales! Oh shit. Oh boy! Oh, I am so not prepared for open combat! Oh, fuck. Okay, alright, alright, okay! Obviously, museums and art are not good cover. These are things that I have learned, and I will make sure to remember for all of time. I'm gonna keep this loadout. No, what am I fucking saying? Fuck that, no! If I can change my weapons, I might as well do it. 
Uh, well, d -d 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 looking for the things with the highest damage. It doesn't really matter in the end, does it? Alright, fuck it. We'll just go with this. The G36C! Mostly because it looks cool. I like its design. Alright. Camo, doesn't really matter, but at the same time, it really does. Hexagon Snow. Hit it up with some... Infrared Iron Sights, because we haven't been using those, and if we really want to, we could use a Canted Red Dot Sight. Um... Heavy Barrel, and... Stubby Grip. Alright, now we're ready to fight. It's wartime. I can handle a dozen coked up dudes. Oh gosh. It's so bad where it spawns me, man. Holy shit. Okay, alright. Still have to remember that fucking the cover here is trash. Maybe I can go out back? No. Well, I mean, I can, but it's not helping me any. Ow, God, God, ow, fuck, okay, I get it. I shouldn't be here, but I'm not a robber, you know. At least, again, not in the traditional sense. Whew. Fill out a bunch of paperwork later. <laughs> you get started? Then try. I figured you'd probably use a hand back here. Oh, thanks. Thanks, by the way. We should go. What the hell did Dawson Stoddard do to you? Let's just say, I wasn't always the kind of person who would fuck over her partner. Fair enough. And just so you know, this isn't about killing Doss. Not for me. Okay. What's it about then? For you? I want him ruined. Because that's what he does. He ruins people. And Stoddard? Stoddard, I'm fine with just killing. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty sure you're gonna get another shot at him. After tonight, Stoddard's gonna be coming after us. So what are we gonna do about Roark? We kind of capped him, maybe? I'm not sure. King's operation didn't produce any obvious clues on Dawes unless Boomer, oh, that's just the way I was saying before. Alright, with Kai's phone in place, tracking that money to its destination should be relatively easy. Getting to it? Not so much. So, even after all the shit that happened, they're still gonna try to take the money to its destination. That's really bold for a bunch of criminals that I, like, 70% arrested and 30% just straight up killed. Because I did have to go through that entire, like, party outside again. And I arrested all of them. Every single one. Didn't have to kill them this time. Oh, gosh. You know, this doesn't look like it's going to be a very happy encounter. You can already just see, like, oh, they're pointing guns at us. It's, it's going to be a straightforward interaction, isn't it? Bad shit happens when people actually interact with bad guys. It's just the way these things go in, you know, cop dramas. <laughs> hey, did you guys see the news? What, the Rourke thing? Apparently, you two caused $3 million worth of damage. The guy literally lives in a glass house. Oh, yeah! You're gonna love this. Bam! Thank what you. is that? Where Dawes is keeping his dirty money? Your little tracker scheme worked? Now, right here, this is where Kai's phone wound up. Dawes' is corporate HQ. I mean, the place is a beast. We're talking private elevators, blast-resistant windows. Wait, I know that building. That's right on Foster Key off mainland Miami. And this is a work order for a vault that was installed in the penthouse suite six months ago. Okay, tell me about it. Foot-thick steel door with a combination lock and magnetic seal. So we blow it open? Ah, the amount of explosives needed would level the building. So we don't blow it open. Or do we? <laughs> now, I used to hang with some folks that have an auto-dialer. It's like a safe-cracking robot. 
They called it the Brute. I mean, the thing is fast, man. It could power open any combination safe. Call him. Tell him we need to borrow it. I already did. We just need to pick it up. Oh, okay. So the people we're going to aren't the ones with the money. They're just a bunch of criminals who have a thing that we need. Long way to come for a safe cracker. You really used to live out here? Oh, yeah. I was a little screwy after the army, you know, made a local friend, so I hung around for a while. Don't ask, don't tell, huh? Oh, that's funny. What'd you do in the army? Intelligence analyst. But no skills to work, I see. <laughs> Look, you try getting a straight job with a dishonorable discharge on your record during a recession. It's a long story, man. I went AWOL. For how long? Technically, I'm still AWOL. <laughs> so what about you, man? What's your story? Oh, Marcus! Soon! Oh! You got a little fat. What? You got a little looking good. <laughs> I'm gross. If I wasn't covered in dust, I'd be like SPF 5800 out here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, I'm sorry. This is uh, uh, the friend I was telling you about. Hi, I'm Nick. Hello there, Mr. Nick. <laughs> oh, you look great. You really do. Thank you. So do you have the safe cracker thing or not? No, no, we have to go to the compound to pick it up. Oh, the compound. I, I thought you, you were gonna, um... Is your dad gonna be there? Oh my god, he's not mad at you anymore. Really? I mean, he's not gonna pop the champagne when he sees you, but... <laughs> so I guess we're gonna go pick it up then. Hey, do you guys mind driving? Sure, why not? Awesome! I'm like the third wheel to this relationship. Oh, gosh. So what have you been doing these days? Same old. Local or offshore? Mostly offshore. Where am I going? Follow the road. I'll tell you when to turn. So are you, like, enjoying the work? I'm enjoying the money. So what do you do, Nick? I work with Boomer. Oh, a boy's up to no good. So exciting. <laughs> so how's your dad? Is he still carrying that fucking gun? Marcus. The world is not your own personal diorama. He's over it. All right, I gotta know what happened with you two. Well, we kinda... Marcus and I were very much in love. Mm. My father didn't approve. Oh, I can give you one guess why. So when Marcus left the community, he tried to... Leave with you. ...kidnap me, my dad said, which was so fucking romantic. But which kind of upset my dad, I guess? Show him your bracelet. Oh! GPS. Really? So he always knows where I am. <laughs> Your dad's kind of a psycho. Yeah. Uh. Does that thing have like voice picking up stuff in it or something? Because that'd be kind of awkward. You know, he's listening into all your conversations. He knows exactly where you are at all times. Yeah, shit's weird. Hold up, look at stop. Hey, man, uh. keep it on the road, all right? Hold on, I gotta check so this out. Oh, I can't get out of the car. Tense. He was in SEAL Team 6. Oh, he was not in SEAL and Team 6. due to problems with the socialist tyranny of the American government, he founded a community of like-minded patriots. Patriots? Are guys here armed? Totally armed. Oh, Nick, it's cool. I know these people. They're mostly hippies. Actually, all the hippies you knew are gone. What? Where'd it go? Just gone. <laughs> you know, I'm glad this road's clear. For the most part, because I'm trying to like look at the conversation and be like, hey, look, her face is actually animated. That's ours. Oh, well, all right. I didn't really stop too well there. <laughs> it's a California stop. I, I'm guilty of many of those. And hey, I think we're actually in California, so it works out. Yeah, it was funny the last time we were driving and Tyson's face was like hardly animated, but hers, she actually did pretty well. Good job. We're slowing down Here without my consent. Okay. Well, well, Marcus Boone, the prodigal, etc. <laughs> hey, Mr. Albert, thanks for seeing us. Oh, it's the least I can do. And you must be Nick. Boomer says you got a machine that can brute force any combination lock. Well, certainly can, Nick. You just gotta give it a little time. Nick Mendoza, right? Oh, uh oh. Hey, look at that. Shit just got real. My dad kind of monitors my call. 
calls. Yeah, a lot of people want to talk to you, Mendoza. Including a fella from L.A. named Stoddard. Uh. Say so he paid 250 grand for you alive. He's coming here right now. Sorry, Marcus. Boys, what do you say we escort Mr. Mendoza and Marcus down to the presidential suite? Wait, you said just Nick. <laughs> Marcus isn't welcome here. He never was. Oh, baby, I'm so sorry. <sighs> Peel her off this asshole before I puke. Oh, and Marcus, just so we're clear, race is not a factor here. My dislike of you is strictly personal. Uh huh. <laughs> Glad you clarified that. God damn it. Sometimes I wish I was just in control of the camera and the person at the time just be like, bang, bang, look at that! I shot your people, I can do that, and then I'd probably be dead immediately, but <laughs> at least I made an effort. Hey, Boomy, how you doing? Really? Oh! Where'd you get that? Dune gave it to me when she hugged me. Dune? Who just set us up? Dune? Who set you up? She's, uh... She's actually really good people. Oh, sure. All right. Stay behind me. Go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, no, I can see where all these hippie messages are. I cannot do anything with these handcuffs on me. This is gonna be problematic. That means I gotta fucking stealth through the sections. Please tell me Albert doesn't have a nuke. I don't have a nuke. Like nuclear silos. Uh, I guess I could check out some of the ways. Oh shit. I can actually take him down. Oh, things aren't gonna be as bad as I thought they were gonna be. Although this is kind of dark. I just figured I was knocking out a guard. Not many. Okay, come on, let's find that escape hatch. That looks like a pretty inconspicuous door right there. It's just screaming at me. Hey, go over there! Minus the cockroaches. Not happy about those. Right, I want to keep on looking around. A continent! Or land! Close enough! Uh, okay. Air filtration doesn't really have anything here. Give me one second. 